Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for this Tuesday. Deadline, time's running out. Gotta get to painting. <laughs> oh guys, that wind is blowing like 40 mile an hour out there. I went to the paint store a while ago and man, that, that place is like Associated Industry. They must be buddies, man. <laughs> They're like this. <laughs> Whew. That silver alone was a hundred bucks. It's going to be enough, uh, basically because of my base coat. I'm going to use it. Ain't, it's going to it's light coat of paint. I'm going to take much at all. But I'm pretty sure I got everything else I needed, but uh, I got a little bit left to do on this wing right here. Oh, no. it all came out. The bottom's all done. I got all the gear door stuff done. I just did all that yeah, when I was working on the one. I just did them all. And now remember, when I sand these, it'll tone them down. They just look dark now because they're burnt. But uh, that way they're real defined. You know, they're 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 really defined and and not halfway done. But by the time I get them sanded. It tones them down and then get them painted it'll be it'll just look like rivets baby that's gonna look good and uh, there's a bunch of them on here man there's a bunch a few clusters that's where them panel lines went all crazy you know but there is a bunch of rivets on this thing it really ain't too bad I was kind of fighting this top this morning Man, this stuff's like a horse tranquilizer. <laughs> it's a couple of hours, man. I'm fighting it to keep my eyes open. And I got that thing gripped like this because my hand's hurting. And <coughs> it's getting too old for this stuff. It's a young man steal. But ain't no young men know how to do this stuff. So that's why we're here. Ah. Someday, many years from now, you guys are gonna say, man, I'm glad old Bob did this for us. China's man. Man, I cleaned that fan up. Whew, what a difference between night and day. Now I think it's gonna cool off my dang sun or not. I'm just gonna heat it up here. When I was coming back into town, into Hayesville, you know, from Wichita, it's about a oh, three or four mile stretch where there ain't hardly nothing. You can just see, well, there's a lot of farms around Hayesville. And it's dry and you can just see the, the, the cloud of dust being kicked up by this wind. It's like 30 mile an hour up there. 35, gusted with 40. There just ain't no way I'm gonna paint this like that. There's no way. So, uh, but tomorrow the wind's supposed to calm down. So what I'm, I'm going to get the other wing done tonight for sure, and then I can get the paint right away uh, tomorrow. And then I can get Calvin and Wes is going to come over and help me with them stickers. Man, I think that fan is just in a cool more solder. Seems like this thing ain't getting as hot as it used to. I'm cleaning my deal. Ain't quite hard enough yet. 
can tell where, you know, the iron kicks on and off. It gets hot, it cools down, it gets hot, it cools down. I like it when it's super hot. Myself. On these round surfaces, you gotta kinda roll it around a little bit. Like so. And the hardest part is judging to your corner. You know? So they come out right, but you know, about the same. So when you're out about, you know, two or three dots away, you got to start thinking about it. You stretch them, or if it ain't gonna come out right, stretch them or squeeze them together. I'm not gonna say I'm not going to the scale masters with this, but if that was like an F18. Oh, that'd be perfect, just a flat coat, even with these colors coming through. Just wet sand it all again. Put the, uh, you know, star bar, just a gray star bar right there. That's a, that's a combat airplane right there. Because once it's sandy, remember, they don't tone down. You know, they won't be near so dark. See that little spot right there. But that would be an awesome, for like a, just a scale F-18, F-16, something like that, F-14. You know, I had my Tomcat for sale last winter. If it did sale, I was, the Flygo came out with a great big one. Did you guys know that? Flygo was kind of big. It was 14. Big one. It's like six scale. I think they're supposed to have it at Kentucky, but uh, that's what I was going to buy, and I was just going to get a plain gray one. Just Tom Cruise, Top Gun, plain Jane Gray, fly it off a carrier. F-14. Yeah. Oh, it's not. It'd be a little bit hotter than it'd be purple. Sometimes you get a few holes done. If you go too fast, you gotta wait a minute, just hold it here for a minute and heat it back up. Okay, just turn this away. I want this corner to come out because this is what you look at. This is the part of the jet that gets people look at most. You know, right here. Then I actually need to uh Put it on the fuselage where it's going to mount up. Put me a pencil line here so I can put a row of rivets on the outside. Yeah, I'd like to have that big F-14. Ooh, doggy. That is bad. Or at 14, I mean. That'd be a big bad jet, man. But I heard they're going to have one at Kentucky. I guess we will see.
see that my hand starts getting real tired. I had to start going like this. <laughs> For an hour, it's too good. Man, I cannot wait to get to paint, guys. Tomorrow the wind's supposed to come down to 10 mile an hour. So tomorrow night's gonna be awesome. It's gonna take me a little nappy poo. It's about two o'clock. And I'm good to three, four in the morning. I'm trying to get the silver sprayed on it before it gets late. We have Calvin and West come over. Filled up a little bit. In close to the fuselage here. This where I sand it kind of hard. So we need to get this panel line back a little bit. It's on the main eye level where people's looking. So I got my cutting wheel. This is this one of the thin cut off wheels. Bam! Panel line is back. No <laughs> worries to it. That'll show up good under the paint. Don't take much to show up under that paint. Especially silver. Shiny silver. Shiny, shiny. Yeah, it's actually top of the swing, took a little longer than I thought. I thought I'd have them both done by now. Here I go again with my thinking. <laughs> I'm trying, it'll happen. I'm gonna, that other wing will be done tonight, I promise. I gotta get on it, it's already four o'clock, but I did take off and go to paint store. Man, that'd make a good looking F-18 wing. <laughs> it sure would. And you look at them warplanes on them carriers, man, and you know, they look just like this. They're, they're more messed up, you know, there's smudges of grease, you know, and, and just different color panels. and. You know, a couple of these might be a little different color from this one. And they're just all smudged up. All kind of things is worse just when they're flying in a rainstorm. <laughs> Man, it's 
swing is almost done, guys. We will get it up. But that's what I will be doing all night long, guys. So, never know. Might make another video, might make two. You just never know with me. But one thing for sure is we'll see you back in the shop. Same Bob time, same Bob station. This episode of Bob.